um, the marquee event of the Arcadia Invitational. Hip one, Daniel Simmons from American Fork. Hip two, Connor Burns from Southern Boone, Missouri. Hip three, Rocky Hansen, Christ School, North Carolina. Hip five, Jerron Hartshorn from Lone Peak, Utah. Hip six, Noah Brecker, Robbinsdale Armstrong, Minnesota. Hip seven, Will Schneider from Bishop Blanchett, Washington. Hip eight, Jacob Laney, Porter Ridge. Hip nine, Carter Spradling, Clo Clovis East. Hip 10, Patrick Kuhn from Leon, Leon High School in um, Tallahassee, Florida. Hip 11, Matthew Donis from Highland. Hip 12, Jacob Nino from Jesuit in Portland. Hip 13, Zach Munson from Seaholm, Washington. Hip 14, Noah Jenkins from Harriman, Utah. Hip 15, Jojo Jordan from Olympus, Utah. Hip 16, Simeon Birnbaum from Rapid City, Stevens, South Dakota. Hip 17, Grant Morgenfeld from Palo Alto. Hip 18, Will Conway from Floyd Central. Hip 19, Liam Henninger from Mountain View, Utah. Hip 20, Devin Kipiego, St. Raphael Academy out of Rhode Island. Hip 21, Newbury Park's Braden Seymour. Hip 22, Jonah Bazarkanian from Royal. Hip 23, Emmanuel Perez of Cathedral. Hip 24, Gus Clevenger of Jesuit in uh, Portland, Oregon. Hip 25, Jason Parra of Milliken. Hip 26, Billy Issa from West Ranch. Hip 27, Vince Recupero from Bishop Blanchett. Hip 28, Tayson Echohawk of Orem. Hip 29, Andrew Hauser, Rockbridge, Missouri. Hip 30, Parker Barnes of Mountain View, Utah. Hip 31, Weston Brown of Bozeman. Hip 32, Colin Bowler of Del Barton, New Jersey. Hip 33, Cruz Corbin, Lakes of Washington. Hip 34, Ethan Hogan of Columbia, Illinois. And Aaron Salman, the younger brother of the 2021, of the 21 and 22 winner, uh, Colin Salman, and coming back from the 800, Aaron Salman right in the lead. There you go. Newbury Park has won the last three of these races, dating back to Nico Young in 2019, followed by 21 and 22 victories that uh, Colin Salman pulled out against Lex Young, both years almost identical how those ones went with uh, Colin and Lex, one, two. And here we are again. Aaron, now Aaron Salman, may just be pacing and i wasn't sure they were going to let him do that but when i talked to connor burns uh the other night over zoom he said that they were hoping that aaron would pace now that may be what's happening here um i'm not sure if he's going to stay in or not but he is out front which which means he could be pacing and connor burns said that they want to run down around 8 30 which is you know a little bit mind-blowing but you know, these kids want to, want to run fast. They want to run faster than what Colin ran last year, which was a meet record, 834.99. And so they need to be around 415 at the mile uh, to even split that. We'll see how this goes. But the lead group is going to be very ambitious. Well, facing off after Aaron keeps looking at his watch, I'm pretty positive he is the rabbit in this race pulling through them, I believe probably will be the mile, maybe even uh, an, a, two, a, two th a 2K through this. But as we see, Simeon Birnbaum, Connor Burns, we, our, er, our early leaders in this race, both who recently just started their own little podcast with the uh, running effect, uh, just talking about how, what their training is like, what they've been doing with it, and how they really want to establish this race. I know you had a conversation with Connor Burns talking about he wants to run 8.30. We learn about Simeon Birnbaum and what he's been doing. But there, there's lots that goes on when it comes to this type of race. Lots of planning. And I, I'm sure this is not just, all right, it's meet week, let's plan this out. No, this is months or however uh, other coaches approach it. Well, you win this race and it marks you as a high school legend forever. It really does. And you can look at the list of winners going back 20, 
25 years, and it's um, it's an it's a, an all-time caliber list of names. And so uh, here, Aaron Salman is drifting a bit out in the lane two, and look what the look what they're going to run for the first half of this race. Uh, 418. 418 is what Colin Salmon ran uh, through four laps last year with Lex. So they're on that meet record type pace. And again, last year when Colin Salmon won, he ran 834.99. Uh, and one of the top five of all time. Burns now takes up the lead with Burnbaum right behind him and they've really got to drive to keep that thing going it's got to hurt i mean these guys these guys have been in big stages and they know how much they need to hurt to do it burns and burn bomb have both run under four minutes so they're aware what that feels like daniel simmons now into fourth one of the rising amazing talents at american fork who seems to be on a similar trajectory to Casey Klinger at American Fork, runner-up at NXN, and now he is into second and now ahead of Connor Burns. One thing to know about this young man right here, and we saw it at the Simplot Games when he ran 848, mind you, at 4,500 feet. This is a junior. Uh, this is a kid who has proven people wrong. Coming from the small town of Salmon, Idaho growing up. Did not start at American Fork in his prep career. Started at Salmon, Idaho, which I believe is one of the smaller schools in the entire state of Idaho. Decides to move to American Fork his sophomore year. Starts training with these guys, one of the perennial powerhouses in the country, and now has turned into one of the brightest stars in America. Perhaps might even have the best resume between cross country and track so far this season with the runner up finish at NXA, with the runner up finish at New Balance Indoors in the, the 5,000 dipping under 14. Then he's got the title Gatorade Player of the Year from Cross Country. I mean, what more can this kid Another of the top resume? runners in the country that beat Simmons in the 5K in, in Boston at New Balance Nationals Indoor. Uh, Tyron Gorzy earlier today at the Medford uh, Rotary Relays ran 349 for 1,500, but did not come to Arcadia. Still ran a really great race. Uh, uh, at home tonight, uh, earlier today, he could be in this in this mix as well. Lex and Leo, you know, they're still eligible to be in this, although they're preferring to race older older athletes at this stage of their high school career. There's uh, so much talent in the country right now, and right now it's Simmons, it's Burns, and is that Hanson in third? Burnbaum is in fourth. You got Simmons. Burns, Hanson, Birnbaum. Then you got Jason Parr in fifth having a great race. Only a, a junior. Simmons ran 8.53 at altitude at the Simplot Games. We saw that on those, on those wooden boards in Pocatello. Tremendous effort there that day. And, and look at him really going hard at it here. Bell lap at 7.35. Could we see another kick from Simeon Birnbaum? He's made his way back up to that pack. We saw it last year in the mile. He patiently waited right behind Aiden Emerson. And with about 150 meters to go, he started to go. And look at Daniel Simmons well, right now Simmons. with this kick. Simmons at 300 took off. Hansen, though, sticking with him and closing it down. And Birnbaum, as you said, still in it. Hansen looks like he's going to pass Simmons around this corner, and Birnbaum isn't far behind. Again, another fight. Simmons, to the though, right fighting here. to hold on, and maybe he's got another gear. Simmons bearing down, two runners right behind him. Birnbaum trying to make a pass on the outside to get Simmons, and it's going to be Birnbaum, I think. Got Simmons. And look at that. They got the meet record, apparently. Un under 834.99, 834-something. We need to see the decimal. But what another tr what another fantastic race. Arcadia Boys 3200 never disappoints. 
Now, going back to my point, I talked about in the seated race. I want everyone to look at how many guys are under 850. The barrier has always been nine minutes, but I wanted to know how many guys broke 850 in this race. And just like we saw with that nine minute barrier in that rated race, 20, or 19 guys. That looked like maybe 15 or 16 guys under 850 in this race. Again, th this is the meet. You want to run fast, you come here and run it. And this was the exact same race that Simeon Birnbaum ran like last year in that mile race. You go back, watch that last 100 meters, you'll see the same exact thing you saw tonight in this boys 3200. Birnbaum with those long legs kicks down the leader there in the final strides. And then it's another tremendous performance for him, reminiscent of his sub four last June at the Brooks PR meet. But look at those three and everything they're, they're giving to try and get there first. And Simmons has a slight lead and then Birnbaum just gets him at the finish line. So, so three boys under the previous meet record held by Colin Solomon. 8.34.10, and 8.34.78. Let's look at see how many guys were under 8.50 though. Three under 840. That might that's a record. Okay. 